Hey guys, and welcome to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. If you are a regular on the channel, you know I'm a big fan of the Amiga Vision front end. It is just something that's very, very fantastic. It's something that has reintroduced me to the Amiga. I had an Amiga growing up. I played a lot of games on there, but there were a lot of games for the Amiga, and I forgot a lot of them. And what Amiga Vision does is it just creates this excellent front end package, but it also does a lot of changes with optimization on the back end. So beautiful front end, beautiful back end. It's something that I have been enjoying on my Mr. FPGA as well as my analog pocket and that is where I have experienced this beauty Amiga Vision FPGA devices but what's really really cool is the guys at Amiga Vision are now bringing this over to the Raspberry Pi so that was what was that okay so that was the analog pocket one we were looking at Let's just give that a quick pause and here we go. Here's an, an Amiga stream that I did earlier. Again, just absolutely fantastic. You cannot go wrong with this front end. It is fantastic. Honestly, guys, I'm telling you now, if you played the Amiga and there are games that you forgot about, you will see them because as you scroll through the list, it's got them in genres alphabetically, by year, by charts. There are so many different ways of finding uh, a game that you may have lost and forgotten about. I always have fun with it. In fact, I need to do a stream very, very soon uh, of an Amiga Vision, uh, either on uh, the Pocket or the Mr. FPGA. But hey, we're talking about the Raspberry Pi. Now, I don't own a Raspberry Pi, but I do know that the work that Amiga Vision do is second to none. So let's just go over and uh, check out their uh, Blue Sky account. So Amiga Vision, now the best Amiga gaming experience on Raspberry Pi. And they've got a link to that article. And just let me just check this other tweet quickly. Uh, where it says oh, sorry <laughs> i'm not logged in from here i did like it on my account so as mentioned in the article we are happy with this low latency setup that offers analog crt output from a raspberry pi more improvements on the way so many of you guys have a raspberry pi now i don't have one i don't have anything against them i remember trying one around my cousin's house on his like make do arcade machine and there was a lot of input latency too much input latency for my liking but i know a lot of people have it but it looks like there's some really really good stuff some good advancements with the Raspberry Pi. So Amiga Vision, now the best Amiga gaming experience on Raspberry Pi. And we're happy to announce that the latest version of Amiga Vision now has a supported and dedicated setup for Raspberry Pi. Amiga Vision is the ultimate Amiga games and demo scene setup for Mr. and Analog Pocket FPGAs, Raspberry Pi and emulators, and Amiga 1200, 4000, and CD32. By the way, guys, on the Mr. FPGA, you have the CD32 as well. Hopefully you have that on the Raspberry Pi as well. It was a good way of getting introduced to the vast majority of the CD32 library. That's our Raspberry Pi support. The Amiga Vision team always wanted to support Raspberry Pi, but were never happy with the input latency from controllers, audio latency in-game and output latency via HDMI. And we also wanted easy ways to send the original output to analog CRTs. Over the past few years, the author of RGP Pi OS has been working on Replay OS. That is actually something I've heard quite a bit about. A custom Linux distribution that builds on libretro cores but does not use RetroArch. It recently received its first public uh, release and we have been testing the development builds with a special focus on Amiga latency and compatibility. And we worked with the author to get Amiga audio latency down to 20 to 32 milliseconds that's one to two frames depending on NTSC or power rendering which is far lower than any Raspberry Pi Amiga setup available today so if you're an Amiga fan you definitely want to check this out especially it's going to negate a lot of that latency fixed mouse behavior for certain mice that were behaving erratically in Amiga games and Workbench. Introduced XFAT as the default file system so you can use the full Amiga Vision setup instead of a limited one. So guys, it goes more into detail in this with a full guide of how to get everything up and running. Amiga Vision web website is fantastic. It's a great resource. I've read most of the article. I'll leave you guys to read the rest in, uh, well, in, uh, yeah, in your own time. So guys, that's kind of it for this video. Amiga Vision, Vision is freaking awesome. Find lots and lots of new games on there. Find uh, forgotten games that you once played and loved, but you completely forgot about, right? Because we're getting older and we forget stuff. So massive shout out to Amiga Vision for the work that they do. Absolutely love it. Your dedication to this is freaking amazing. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm uh, I'm out. All links are in the description, so do check it out. I'm not a Raspberry Pi guy, but uh, if you are and you're watching this, let me know. Let me know what you think of the Raspberry Pi. Let me know what you already think of, like, the Amiga emulators you have on there. And uh, try this out and let me know what you think of this. Anyway, guys, be freaking awesome to one another. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.